Hey, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, and today I'm going to show you how to use your account. So what you want to do is you're just going to click on My Account, and then you'll come to this window, and you have two options. If you've never purchased anything from Photoshop Cafe before, then you need to register a new account. Now, if you're part of the Academy at academy.photoshopcafe.com, this is a different account, same as the email if you're on the newsletter. This is also a different account. This is just for purchases at Photoshop Cafe. Now, if you want to register, you don't actually have to make a purchase to become a member and take advantage of some of those other things. And all you would need to do is put in your email, password, and go through those that process right there. So if you already have an account, then just simply put in your email address and password. If your password doesn't work, click on lost your password and reset it. If that doesn't work, then chances are you don't really have an account and you just need to go into register and set one up. Okay, so I'm going to click login and this is going to take you to your dashboard. Now this will have your name on there. Obviously this is a test account, so it's set up a little bit different. If you have any uh, gift certificates or anything like that, they're going to show right here. All your gift certificates will be there. Okay, so if you go down to the free bonuses, this is where you get all the bonuses that I've given away over time, such as the Blending Modes ebook and the Super Guide. So once you've got an account, you'll have access to these and you can download them. Now make sure you're a member of our mailing list on the email list too. Otherwise, you won't know about when we drop new uh, freebies that we're going to be doing from time to time. And then the next thing, we click on paid downloads. So if you have any downloads that you've purchased, over the last three years, they're all going to be here. Let's have a look at how to download your training. Now, first and foremost, you should have received an email with a download link on it. Now, if you can't find the email or you'd rather do it from your control panel, just simply log into your account, go to paid downloads, and all your downloads are going to show right here. In order to download it, just go to your product, click. And if you're on a Mac, it'll just start downloading. If you're on Windows, you have an option between Open and Save. Now you can choose where you want to save it to by choosing Save As, or just click Save. Don't open, make sure you choose Save. And what it's doing right now is it's saving it to the download folders right now. Now wait for it to fully download, and I don't recommend downloading more than one file at a time because these can be quite large. And once it's fully downloaded, you just want to go into your downloads folder, which is where all my downloads go. And then you're going to see a zip file. Now on the Mac, it's not going to be in a zip file. It actually automatically decompresses. But on Windows, you'll see here it says compressed folder tools. So it's actually in a compressed folder right now. So what you want to do is choose extract. Then when we get this option, we want to choose to extract all. This is on Windows 10. Earlier versions of Windows, you might right click and then choose extract all, or there might be different ways of doing it. So what we want to do is set a destination. So I'm going to save this. We could save it in the same folder if we wanted. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to the desktop. But we're not done yet. Make sure you create a new folder because you don't want the files just living wildly on the desktop. You want to keep them nicely together. So this one I've got is multi shot mayhem. So I'm going to call the folder PSC multi, multi. And then I'm going to select that folder. And then choose extract. And Windows is going to extract all those files to that folder. Okay, all done. So now we're inside that folder on the desktop. And you'll see that we can double click here if we want to play the Flash Player. So just double click it and we'll see this interface. All right, let's have a look at putting together. And we have different options. And of course, if we want to go full screen, we click there. Now, if you have problems with that playing, or you're on the latest version of the Mac OS where it actually sandboxes Flash where it won't work, what we do is we go to the Clips folder. And the Clips folder is where all the video files live. Now this is also where you're going to go if you're going to transfer these videos to your mobile devices. Don't try to download it to the mobile device because that won't work. 
but you'll see here we've got our videos here there's all our videos and you can just copy those over through iTunes or um, whatever media player Windows media player that you like to use they're named in such a way that the different courses are going to stay together and they're going to play in order and of course you can just watch them here all right now we're getting ready and use the players features and we can go full screen etc if you have any other problems just create a support ticket just go to photoshopcafe.com click on support and i'll be happy to help you but there's some key information that i really need i can't help you without this information one let me know which title it is you have and really important are you on mac or you're on windows and let me know the version if you know and then another thing that's really important if there's an error message please let me know that error message or give me a detailed report of what's going wrong because otherwise i can't help if i don't know what the problem is and with that little bit of information we can get you up and running in no time at all if you still have any problems so thanks for watching